Josh. Hey, how you doing, brother? How you feeling? Good, good. Um, it's been a few minutes since your fight. How how do you feel about that performance? Ah, uh, feel great, man. Uh, finally, you know, we got the finish. Uh, yeah, I feel great. I feel amazing. You know, you you you've been known for your finishes, but your first two fights were basically wars. Um, so how how did it feel to finally go in there and get that first UFC finish? I ain't gonna lie, man. My team, <laughs> this whole past two weeks, man, they be talking mess about me not getting the finish. They they call me a decision fighter, you know. So I, I have to prove a point, and get a finish to this fight. Um, that first round, uh, was it just you kind of downloading the, downloading the information and kind of getting used to his height? Yes, uh, you know, he got a long reach, uh, and um, I was, you know, I was trying to find a way to get in. So um, in the second round, it was a, a lot easier. Um, I guess, you know, during camp, with you knowing how tall he was going to be, what was the, kind of the game plan with that? Ah, uh, man, shout out to my training partner, Alden Korea. You know, he'd be helping me a lot. Uh, they got the same style, and, you know, my, my, my partner is a lot better than him, so, uh, you know, we'd be working a lot on his movement. Did it feel nice to be the first UFC fight of 2024 and go out there and uh, do that? First fight, first finish. Let's go. Um, I did want to ask, you know, how did it feel going from Madison Square Garden to fighting in, in the Apex? Ah, uh, I'll say it feels the same for me. Uh, a fight is a fight, you know, we get punched in the face. So a uh, fight is a fight, man. It, it feels the same for me. And you said that you want to uh, be even more active than you were last year. Um, when would you like to return? Next week. <laughs> I want to fight next week. So you're trying to fight in Toronto? Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm guessing you, you would really like to fight in Texas at some point this year. For sure, man. That would be ideally, you know, uh, San Antonio, Austin. Houston, yeah, Houston would be the best, you know. Um, I hope I get to fight Texas. Um, have you been, I mean, have you been seeing and hearing all of the, um, you know, just praise that, that that you've been getting from all the fans saying, like, you know, you, you're, you're this next flyweight prospect that's really going to do ways in, in, the, in the sport? Yeah, I see everything, bro. I read all the comments. <laughs> I check all the YouTube videos, man. I, I search myself Joshua Van on YouTube, Google, everywhere, bro. I watch myself a lot. <laughs> so with that being said, you know, you're 3-0. and um, You know, how fast do you want to get into those rankings, or, or do you want to take your time with, you know, you only being 22 years old? Uh, if, if it's possible, I want it to be next, you know, top 15. But uh, I'm a fighter. Uh, so whoever they put in front of me, I'll fight, so. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you, sir. I just wanna ask a follow-up to the Googling yourself. I'm assuming you're gonna see a lot of negativity too. How do you block that out and just focus on the good? Ah, uh, here's the thing, man. For me, uh, I just focus on the positive thing. <laughs> you know, uh, if they say I'm ugly, then okay. You know, <laughs> but if I'm saying I'm handsome, then you know, I know I'm handsome, so like, you know. So I just take all the p positive thing. Do you ever reply to the um, nasty stuff? Uh, no, I just ignore them most of the time. <laughs> How important was it for your mentality to get this finish at this moment, you know, it being the first fight of the year for you? And, and it, how much is that going to carry on through the year, do you think? Uh, it's my team <laughs> for us, but they be talking mess. So uh, it's just for me, uh, other than prove them wrong, <laughs> that was my, yeah, that's my biggest thing this year. I'm going to prove them wrong each and every fight. So I'm going to get finished from here to the end of the year. And what are your goals for the year? Maybe looking even just past your next fight, but what about the rest of the year? Where do you kind of see yourself ending the year? Uh, I want to be in the top 15, top five, or maybe even for a title contender, you know? So, yeah. Thank you. Josh, over here, you got the call. Last year in Jacksonville, you now have three wins out of three in the UFC less than a year later. What have been your biggest takeaways from your UFC career so far? Uh, stay active, I guess, yeah. How do you see the Moreno versus Roy Val match going? Uh, I don't know. I think Moreno take it again. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Any of those? I know you, you want to be in the top 15, so is there any guys that you'd like to eventually face one day, or is it just whatever? Um, like, to be honest, bro, I don't really know most of the, the fighter names, except for myself, of course, you know. Um, I don't know. Uh, anybody in the top 15 or anybody. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.
Just one for me. I know it's an isolated sport. It's just you and, and the person across the cage from you, but it is a team that helps build you. So when you look at this, you got, you're on an eight-fight win streak. What is the keys to that success? The key to success is uh, teamwork. You know, Four Rounds Fight Club, uh, they've been helping me a lot, you know. Uh, my teammate, my coaches, even though they assholes sometimes, uh, they're always helping me. So, <laughs> yeah. Have, you know, even just watching your own journey, have you seen the growth in yourself as well? It's, we can go back and look at your records and see how you've finished things, and then we see you perform out there. Can you see the growth in yourself as well through this process? Yeah, a lot, man, especially my ground game, you know. Um, uh, right now, I feel like I'm um, first uh, first half of my career. You know, I was just a striker. Now uh, I'm a full mixed martial art fighter. And it seemed like, I, uh, unless I was hearing wrong, I think the commentary team was saying that it tends to seem that you like to take some shots to kind of wake you up to get you going out there. Is that something that you've seen as well, or does it? Do you need that fighter to kind of bring it to you and snap you out of your head a little bit, or is that just how the fights have sort of just played out a little bit? Nah, not really, man. Nobody give it. To punch in the face, no, nobody want to get uh, punched in the face, you know. But uh, I think I needed that, you know. But uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I like to fill my opponent out first and then uh, go for it, you know. Awesome. It was a great, great victory. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, sir. Just two quick ones for me. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Awesome finish. I, I don't see body shots much in the uh, cage, as much as, you know, we would like. But that was fantastic. It was like... Canelo or De La Hoya was in there. Was that part of that game plan, fighting a taller guy that you knew the body was going to be open? Uh, we knew he was going to come with the uh, knee a lot. So uh, if I go to the body, I'll get the knee in the face, you know. So uh, every fight is different. Uh, you know, I can't just go in there and look for the body shot and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that was the game plan to fake him out and stuff like that. Awesome. And last for me, you did mention the title run when you were talking about with Amy, 2024 being a big year. Just your opinion of... Maybe not the division if you don't know all the guys, but at least have your champion right now, how you'd match up with him, your opinion on... Uh, the champion? Yeah. Uh, I feel like by the end of this year, I'll be ready for him. Uh, you know, uh, we're taking fight, uh, fight, one fight at a time. So uh, by the time I meet him, I'll be ready for sure. That's what's up. And with performances like that, who's not going to want to see you go up there and challenge something? Sir, thank Congrats you. on the win. Thank you, sir. Hey, Josh, right here. Um, as you take a look at not only your craft alone, but when you take a look at other fighters and fighters that you look up to, who are some of those names that you try to pick some pieces of their puzzle to add to your own? Uh, I watch Peter Young a lot. I watch Peter Young a lot, and I watch myself a lot. <laughs> and uh, John Jones, man, his IQ is high. So uh, those two, and uh, yeah, those two. Obviously, you're still relatively in the early stages of your career, but for you, how do you want to be remembered once you're done and outside the octagon? I want to be the first Myanmar champion, a uh, UFC champion. Awesome. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you.